World War II, Pacific. Between 1941 and 1945, Japan fought the United States and its allies for control of the Pacific. The U.S. forces became more powerful as the war continued. Japan finally surrendered in August 1945 after atomic bombs destroyed the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese launched a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, destroying the U.S. Pacific Fleet. Days later, the United States entered World War War II. The United States and the Japanese fought many long and bitter battles on, on sea and land for military state planes loaded with explosives. Japanese suicide pilots dive bombed U.S. ships. These kamikaze attacks sank 34 U.S. Hiroshima. On, on August 6, 1945, the United States dropped the first atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima, rose 50,000 feet into the sky. There was a blinding flash of light throughout the city. that remained of Hiroshima was ruins and ashes. Radioactivity. Radioactive substances are composed of unstable atoms that break down and release high-level energy called nuclear radiation. These atoms eventually form new elements. There are three types of radiation. Alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons. They are the least penetrating radiation and have a positive charge. Beta particles are more penetrating and consist of electrons which have a negative charge. Gamma rays are the most penetrating radiation. They are electromagnetic waves and have no charge. Alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays are three types of radiation given out by radioactive substances. Alpha particles are the least penetrating form of radiation, and each is composed of two protons and two neutrons from the nucleus of an atom. Their path can be blocked by a thin piece of paper. Beta particles can penetrate further than alpha particles and are composed of electrons. They can pass through paper, but are blocked by a thin sheet of light metal, such as aluminum. Gamma rays are the most penetrating type of radiation. They are electromagnetic waves, similar to microwaves, radio waves, and light. Only a thick sheet of heavy metal, such as lead, can block their path.
Welcome to my workshop. As you can see, it contains a number of rather ingenious inventions. I've studied them all with the help of my loyal assistant, the Great Woolly Mammoth. Everything is arranged on these shelves. I have hundreds of machines here, along with the scientific principles that underlie them, the history of their development, and the stories of their inventors. So be my guest. Click on the shelves and explore my collection for yourself.